told their landlord that they're not going anywhere. A San Diego woman says squatters are living in her rental home and she can't get rid of them despite them owing nine months rent. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carla Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. The woman filed an eviction case, but the judge ruled against her. CBS 8's David Godfredson spoke to both sides and is working for you to get answers about what happens next. Yes, if we had any plans for that house, I told him yes. Barbara Gunner is the landlord on top of the hill. From her front porch in Encanto, she can see her rental house down below, where she says people have been living for nine months without paying rent. How many people are? How in the world do you live in a rental for nine months without paying rent? That is flabbergasting to me. How do you get away with doing something like that? If you know how they did it, let us know in the comments because that's interesting to know. Living there now. About six. Barbara says none of the people living here have a written lease. They took over the property after her longtime tenant died. Do you think that, that these people are squatters? They are squatters. They are squatters. They haven't paid a nickel. Yeah, they're squatters. That's why they're down there now. Barbara filed eviction papers and took the people to court, but she represented herself and lost the case. In fact, the judge ruled against her twice. It's a terrible thing, but it's... Wow. How do you lose a case where the people are not paying you anything for nine months? That is very crazy. Yeah, I, I do believe that there is a time frame on which landlords are able to evict non-paying tenants. Do believe that there is some sort of grace period. It may differ from state to state, but nine months not paying a dime and they're getting away with it, that's crazy. Your hands are tired. You know, to do things legally, you have to go by what the judge says. It all came down to what the judge called a verbal lease agreement, formalized when Barbara accepted initial rent payments from one of the tenants. Her husband, Roy, is a retired criminal attorney, and he still doesn't understand the complicated ruling. It looks to me it's damn near impossible to get anybody out of your house. They can come in and tell any lie, and that's enough to squeeze by these current laws in California. Whether you're a squatter or not, squatter. California, California. Do I need to say any more? Squatters still have rights. Christina Williams and her husband, Chris Thorne, told me they do live in the house. She lost, she yep. lost twice in her unlawful detainer. And she was told by the judge that she could not come down here and do repairs and have the tenants removed, but she doesn't care what the court said. And admitted they don't pay rent. As a landlord, don't you think she deserves to at least have rent paid to her if she owns Well, yeah, house? I mean, I'm, I'm not disputing that. She does deserve to have her rent paid, but there's a way to go about things. I mean, if you tried to forcibly remove somebody and you lost, then you go back to a starting point and try to resolve that. The landlord tells me she is going to go back to court yet again to try and get these people evicted. This time, she plans to hire an attorney. In Encanto, David Gottfriedson, CBS 8. CBS 8 reached out to the main tenant named in that eviction case. She did not return our call. The landlord says the tenants did pay rent for a few months and that the house is in need of repairs. That was a very interesting story and I hope that the best decision is made and I hope that the landlord is taken care of for the property that she's provided to the people. She does need to be compensated for allowing people to live under the roof, to have shelter, and it's just, it's just the right thing to do. So let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like this video, share this video, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless you.